Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn the differences of vector and bitmap graphics in Scratch. We're going to go over every tool in both vector and bitmap. So let's just get right into it. We're going to start with the paint tool. The paint tool is pretty si simple. You just put your mouse down and it just paints. So yeah, it's really simple. And you can choose your color. We can make it red and you can also choose your thickness. So make it like 50 and it's really thick. In bitmap, it also works similarly. We can make a drawing and we can choose our color and here we can also choose our thickness the next tool we're going to learn about is the erase tool so if we have a drawing here and we use the erase tool we just erase part of our drawing and if that drawing has an outline like this it makes two parts and both of them still have an outline in bitmap it also works something like that we paint we can use the eraser tool to erase and there are actually no outlines in bitmap you can only make it outlined but if you make it outlined and fill it and then erase it it doesn't make an outline like vector The next tools are the two shape tools, the circle tool and the rectangle tool. We can use the rec rectangle tool like this. We can make a rectangle, choose the color, choose an outline. And if we hold down shift, it makes a perfect square. The circle tool is pretty much like that too. Shift is a perfect circle. Without shift, you can just make any circle, and there's also a color and outline. In bitmap, you can make circle, hold shift for a perfect one, choose a color. And the only difference is that when you have an outline color, you when you have an outline, you can't have a filled. And if you have it filled, you can't have it outlined. The next tool is going to be the text tool. So we can just write hello. This is vector. And it looks pretty nice. But in bitmap, if we write the same thing, it will look really pixely. That's because all graphics in bitmap look pixely. All of them, even the paint tool, it just it's just really pixely. And yeah, that was the text tool. The you can choose your color and you can also choose your font. There are not a lot of fonts on Scratch, but they're pretty cool, I guess. And the next tool is going to be the line tool. So we have we can make a line like this. If we hold down shift, it's going to be a perfect straight line. In bitmap, it's this one. And we just make a line. But if we hold down shift, it's not going to be a perfect line in bitmap.
Next is going to be the fill tool. If we can make it have no fill and let's make an outline like this. And with the help of the fill tool, we can fill the color. There are a lot of different modes. So we can make it look like this or like this or like this. So we can add radiance and it can just be a simple color. Bitmap is pretty much exactly like this. We make an outline tool and we fill it in. And yeah, the only difference here is in bitmap if we make it a fill and then we go to the scribble tool and do something like this and then press color. All of it is going to be colored because there are no layers. All, none of them are separate. In vector, if we make the same square like this and then a scribble and then color as you see here the scribble is not going to be colored the last tool i'm going to cover is going to be this tool so if we make a square for example we can use this tool to select a point and shape it we can make it curved or pointed and we can of course delete the points in bitmap we don't have that tool and there's also a difference between bitmap and vector so imagine we do something like this like just a regular square and then we go to the mouse tool and then we try to select the corner of this rectangle it will just select the whole shape but in bitmap we try to select the part of this shape it will only select that part of the shape that we wanted a cool feature in bitmap is that we can make pixel art with it. We can, if we zoom in really long, and then we go to the paint tool and make the thickness one, we can just put down individual pixels and make pixel art. And yeah. Personally, I like the vector tool better because you can choose layers and it's just a lot easier to work with. But if you're going to do frame by frame animation, definitely go with bitmap. I think frame by frame is better with bitmap and pixel art is also better with bitmap. And yeah, those were the differences of bitmap versus vector. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe.